So the project is uh, deploying uh, infrastructure for water treatment in difficult to serve communities. And uh, we've done so at uh, a number of communities, both in the West region, as well as uh, in the North region. And uh, a major part of the project is to uh, enable entrepreneurs in the communities to increase their commercial activity by giving them things that they were unable to sell previously, but not just anything, but things that have a public health impact and are products that are, I would call them essential goods, clean water, um, milk from, from Haiti. So now we, uh, we, uh, we distribute water. And by the way, we have multiple programs for distributing water, depending on the kind of customer they are. So we have water that you pick up at the kiosk, normal. We have water that gets delivered in a five gallon jug, like many places in the world, but then are resold through these distributors. We have water that is delivered in a custom jug to schools and orphanages and churches and picked back up and returned so that they don't have to invest in jugs. Uh, so we have a whole line of water products that meet different uh, market channel needs, as I call it. We also have uh, Leta Gogu, which is a milk product that is produced from Haitian cows. They are um, pasteurized, high heat pasteurized in the creameries, uh, 33 creameries around the country. So they buy from independent farmers, they pasteurize the milk, they put it into a glass uh, bottle, and they distribute. But because it's a glass bottle, the logistics of that is very difficult. It is in one way. You don't use it and throw it away. And because of that, they don't have very good distribution outside of the urban centers. So we fit in perfectly to help them distribute that and reach uh, the far corners of the market. We also distribute for uh, Brana, which is the bottler that makes um, Prestige, the, the Haitian beer, as well as other bottled drinks, such as 7-Up uh, and uh, a cola products. So we distribute that primarily because it's the high demand product and it helps us uh, cement our relationship with, um, with those resellers. So uh, that's, that's, you know, those are the, the main products that we have today. So yeah, Compete Caribbean, you know, at the end of the day, uh, the approach that we're taking is uh, high upfront cost and high investment. And so having a partner like Compete Caribbean that can help us not only with financing, but also to make sure that we do uh, it the right way, you know, with the right technical approach, with the right um, uh, environmental approach, with the right uh, engineering. I think that, that helps tremendously. And so some of the things that we would not have had the budget for, uh, with Compete Caribbean, we were able to do correctly and do uh, more thoroughly. So that, that, that's, that's fabulous. Um, and I think also long term, uh, I, I think being part of the overall Compete Caribbean community with uh, other companies that have been involved in the program, as well as with the donors involved in Compete Caribbean, that's also very valuable. So I think uh, I'm a big believer in collaboration. And so programs like Compete Caribbean uh, help us facilitate that collaboration.